Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. It's a beautiful day here in December. So for you teachers, you know what that means. It's middle of the year. If you're a young teacher, you may be having some discipline issues in your class. So let's continue to talk about some classroom management um, ideas that can help you out. Today, we're gonna to talk mainly about classroom rules. We're gonna talk about consistency with classroom rules. And then later on, I'll make a video about how to pick, uh, how to make a classroom rule that, that will help you. Um, but anyway, let's talk about consistency. Being consistent is going to help you out with every group of people that are involved in your classroom. It's going to help, well, it's going to help you, first of all, um, because you are going to be confident that you know exactly what it is you're going to do every time something happens okay you don't have to spend so much time trying to figure things out so it's going to help you if you are consistent all right it's going to help the kids um, the kids need to know that if i do this in class then this is going to happen and they need to know that every time they need to know that it's not just going to work with them, but it's going to work with the other kids as well. Because kids are very concerned with, with fairness. They like for things to be fair. And um, for you to make things fair, then all you really have to do is be consistent. If this kid does this, this happens. If that kid does this, the same thing happens. Doesn't matter if it's a boy, girl. Uh, doesn't matter what color they are. Doesn't matter if they're smart. Doesn't matter if they make good grades, bad grades. If they do this, this is what's gonna happen. A lot of kids are in situations where they don't have a consistent um, influence in their life or they don't have a consistent home life. But in your classroom, if you're consistent with what you do and what you ask of them, um, that goes a long way with kids. Next group of people consistency is gonna help you with is parents. Because believe me uh depending on what community you live in the parents talk and they talk about their kids and their classes and their teachers some places worse than others son or daughter is a source of information and they're the number one source of information about your class so if they're coming in every day and you know things are not going well in your class behavior is not good in your class they're going to talk about that and their parents are going to know about that so if you can't be consistent with enforcing your rules um, then the parents gonna know that and then when you do try to contact them uh, about what's going on with their child you know they're automatically gonna throw up this well you know you haven't done anything about it the whole year and now you know or this kid did, did this to my son and you didn't do anything about it and now you want to put my son in detention but you know they want to you know use that as an excuse for their child's behavior now you don't need to give them that excuse to use you need to pick high impact rules that are going to affect every kid in your classroom and they're going to make a major impact in your uh, classroom how the kids are going to learn we'll talk about that later but in this video the main idea is it whatever your rules are you enforce it every single time i mean it has to be like it is written in stone okay so that rule needs to be a good rule it doesn't need to be something trivial uh, but it needs to be something you know a mountain that that you're willing to die on so that way you can be consistent a parent can question you know well my son did this one time and the teacher laughed and then my son did it again and the teacher sent him to the principal's office it can't be that way so it really helps parents if you can call them and say you know well your son did this and i'm going to you know turn this over to the administration and they start you know they start complaining about it or whatever and you can say to them i have done this every time with every single student in my classroom no matter what if they hear that and they hear the administrator back that up, they're not gonna question you so much. It also helps the parents feel confident that their son or daughter uh, is in a classroom where the teacher 
um, has order, they feel that they can trust you, that you're going to be consistent in your decisions and in your discipline, you, you're going to go a, a long way in getting that parent support. Now this fourth group of people that consistency is going to help you with are administrators. That's right, administrators. Now, before you get on to me about being an administrator, let me tell you this. I was in classroom 17 years before I became an administrator. Um, there were years where I didn't have such good classroom management, were years when I had excellent classroom management. I learned more every year, I got better and better at it. So, um, I'm speaking from experience here as a classroom teacher and as uh, 12 years as an administrator, I'm speaking from that angle as well. It is a huge deal with your administrators about how consistent you are with enforcing your rules as a classroom teacher. Um, it's also a huge deal what rules you pick, but like I said, we'll talk about that in, in another video. They're in your classroom a lot, and if it is an administrator that does discipline, they see kids from your classroom. Kids are going to paint a picture of what it's like in your room. When I hear one kid come in and explain to me how things are in Mr. So-and-so's room and he paints a picture that's not so great as an administrator I may just say well uh, that kid just don't like that teacher and he's he's gonna come in here and he's gonna say all this bad stuff about him because he don't like him and all that you know and after the administrators heard from five or six seven eight different kids about how things are so out of control in a classroom you know where there's smoke there's there's a little bit of fire so you know you have to have a reputation among those kids and you have to have a reputation among those parents the administrator needs to feel like when they go in your room things are under control every time they go in there and they see you things are under control because then they have some kind of confidence in you. Now, if you are consistent, a kid's behave, behavior is consistent, and what you do is consistent, and the administrator knows it, you have a whole lot better chance of the administrator being able to use discipline codes, to be able to use um, consequences in a way that's going to help you out. If I'm an administrator and I know that as a teacher that one of your classroom rules is no profanity and every time any student uses profanity in any kind of way you follow the discipline code for the school and the district and you do whatever that thing says and if it says you can refer them to me as an administrator and you refer them to me and I know you do it every single time then that helps me as an administrator know you know what I know Mr. So-and-so is going to send somebody down here for using profanity every time so this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to try to do the same I'm going to have some discretion based on situations and exactly what they said I mean one time it might be they just said a cuss word accidentally while they were talking to another student another time it might be they're cussing another student out now that's two different situations so my discipline might be a little bit different but if you're consistent then that helps me as an administrator now here's what bothers administrators is when they call the parent and the classroom is a situation where kids use profanity all the time. Uh, and it just so happens at this time, the teacher had enough and they wrote somebody up. Now, the administrator's having to talk to a parent who also knows that's what's been going on. And now they wanna know why their son or daughter 
is being put in in-school suspension while all the other kids in the classroom have used profanity all the time and nothing's ever been done about it. That's a hard phone call to make. And it's hard to justify why things are happening that way as an administrator. So that's why if you are a teacher, you have to give that administrator the ability to help you if you are totally inconsistent and the kids don't understand why. Why did I get in trouble this time? The parents don't understand. Why did they get in trouble this time? The administrator does not understand why. You're going to have a hard time, but you need that administrator support because if you don't get it, you're in, you're, you're in trouble because you really can't do anything. As a teacher, you know, you're very limited in what you can do to issue a consequence to a student. There's certain things a teacher can do. There's not a lot. You can't put them in any school suspension. You can't suspend them out of school. Only administrators can do that. So you really need to give that administrator the, the reason to believe that what you're doing is the right thing, that what you're doing is consistent, and that they can rely on uh, what you're doing so that when they have to make those parent phone calls or when they have to suspend that student out of school or when they have to put that student in their school suspension, the administrator's comfortable in knowing that what you're doing in your classroom warrants um, that administrator punishing a student for not following your rules. And uh, as an administrator, I will just tell you, there were some teachers in some schools that I did not feel comfortable administrating uh, certain punishments to kids when I knew what was going on in that classroom was not consistent, was not fair. And there were other teachers that if they sent somebody down there, it was just automatic because I knew they had dotted their I's and crossed their T's. I knew they had contacted parents about the student's behavior. I knew they had good procedures and good routines in their classrooms to help maintain uh, order in the class. I knew they had fair rules. I knew the kids knew what they were, I mean, I knew. Administrators don't operate in a vacuum. Uh, they're operating in situations where you have all kind of different people doing all kind of different things. And if the teacher is not following the rules, it's hard to uh, put the hammer down on a kid who's not following the rules. All the way around, everybody respects consistency. The kids, the other teachers, the adults, the administrators, they all appreciate consistency and you're gonna get so much more support. You're gonna get so much better behavior out of your kids if you're consistent. Next time around on Nichols Retirement Empire, we're gonna talk about well, what kind of rules should I have? Because if I'm gonna be consistent, I need to know that my rules are rules that are going to matter and my rules are rules that the administrators are gonna be interested in supporting me with or that the parents or students are gonna be interested in supporting me with. So how do I pick these high impact rules? We'll talk about that next time.